my brother Joe, who is my third brother out of six, um, he just had his birthday and turned 70. And um, <laughs> he is, he had to go to the doctor and have a check for his PSA and, and you know, the typical man thing. And, um, but I was praying for him. He asked us to, outright to pray for him. And so we prayed and believed God for it to be nothing and it to be a miracle of healing in his life. Right. I've had um, cancer runs in my family. And so that's kind of a scary thing. That's what my mom ended up dying of. And my other brother, Tom, you may have remembered that testimony. But, you know, God intervened and he had the biopsy, went through the necessary process of that and got his results back just at the beginning of this week. And he said, the doctor said it was pretty much clean. There was one tiny little speck, an insignificant speck of cancer, and they're not gonna do anything. Mm -hmm. Doctors don't usually say we're not gonna do anything. So it must be that minute that they're not gonna do anything. And they're just gonna watch it and and keep their eye on it. And I'm <laughs> believing that, that that's a beginning of a healing miracle and it's gonna be gone. Mm -hmm. By the next time my brother goes in to check, it's gonna be gone in Jesus' name. Because that's the power of of that God has over sin and death yeah. and over our healing and I am just so thankful that we can rejoice in that victorious word this weekend that my brother is is okay God took care of it and we never know how it's gonna look we don't know what the outcome is always gonna be but through that process there's a waiting process just like we're waiting for the second coming of the Lord there's a waiting process and we have to wait for it right. and it's like wait for it wait for it wait for it and then boom there it is you know and, and God brought the victorious word to my brother so we are very thankful for that this weekend we are praising God for that and again our healer our Amen. healer took care of it so praise God and don't you think Nancy that God does heal us but I think it is important for Joe now to take care of his body Amen. you know eat right Absolutely. and eat better and change I know that the Lord has touched hundreds of people Randy said ministry. that Joe not me <laughs> <laughs> and, but I think you know just like I have a little atrial fib or a little asthma but if I eat right rest right do right eat the things that you know and keep out from uh, keep from the stress of things that then it doesn't act up on me and and I have longevity Amen. I I believe if unless the Lord comes I believe I'm gonna live to be 89 I'll, I'll so, take that, I'll take and, that. and uh, we'll see and uh, but I just want you to know that Jesus really loves you Amen. don't you leave, I'll leave you on a high note today the reason for the book of Revelation is not to fear anybody it's to do this we win we Amen. win. Praise God. When the church in Ephesus, the church of Smyrna, and of course we're going to do the, the other five churches uh, in coming times together. If you'll apply these scriptures, because it's Jesus speaking to John. And of course, John is sharing this with the leadership in these seven churches. And the number seven is complete. So let's take all these teachings of the churches and let's apply them directly into our lives. Let's be ready because Jesus is coming back. Amen. And we Praise want God. you in heaven with us. I don't want you to miss. I don't want your children or your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. And again, we don't know how long we have. It could be uh, uh, tonight, and, and it could be another 100 or 500 years. We don't know. That's part of God's design, is he wants us to live our lives as though he's coming today, but plan our lives as though we have a season to share the good news. So help Amen. us take this good news about Jesus so that others can have a personal relationship with him as well. Hey, thanks for watching the broadcast today. We want to leave you encouraged and blessed of the Lord. Uh, stay in touch with us. Uh, go to our website and you can find out a lot more information. But would you really pray for us? We are in the line of fire. We're stepping out. We're reaching more people now than we ever have in any point in our ministry. And we believe that these are the hours. So God bless. Uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us today on The Bridge. Please check out our website at www.thebridgeministry.online. Also, like us on your favorite social media platform. And if you're on YouTube, be sure and like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great week.